All right, ladies and gentlemen and programmers, we're going to do lesson 4.3, texture your scene with 2D images. Let's get started. Okay, hey, by the way, make sure you write that down in your notes so I know where you're at. Makes it easier, and take these notes. Okay, so the next step in improving the look of our game is to apply textures. A texture is a 2D image used to enhance a 3D graphics. We're going to apply the textures like wallpaper on our white boxes. Okay, write this down. Lossless equals... This is the image. We've got to choose what kind of file format we're going to use. There's all kinds of uh, picture formats. So lossless means that there's no loss of quality. So it's probably a really big file, um, but the quality is good. Lossy means that it loses quality. They compress it so it's smaller, but it loses a little bit of quality. So you might get some fuzziness. Um, compression is to make a, a picture smaller. Um, so it takes up less RAM. It loads faster on the web and it loads faster on your game takes less resources an alpha channel means that you can have transparency so uh, certain images everything's you know if there's not a picture there it's white like this whereas if there's an alpha channel you can make things transparent which are nice okay so here's the different file formats a PNG is good this is what we use it's has it's compressed so this is nice because it's smaller it's compressed but it doesn't lose quality and it does have an alpha channel so a PNG um, it has it loses quality and it has no alpha channel so you can't have transparency um, a gif is something that we use so it does have a lot anyway you can go through all these different ones a tiff by the way is uh, no compression so a tiff file is like quality's high but it's really big you can also use photoshop file um, so if you just want to edit things in photoshop and put them in directly you can but for us we're going to use a png Okay, so the, write this down in your notes. The alpha channel is used to store transparency information in an image. Um, that's why you can have a transparent background in a PNG, but uh, but not a JPEG. Uh, so we're gonna for for this lesson, we're gonna use PNG format. All right, the Im the images used to texture are usually tileable, so that they are that they can be repeated across a wall or floor. Write this down. A tileable image is an image where opposite edges match up when placed side by side. This way the image can be repeated without seams. So for example, if I took this picture and I put a copy of it over here, you could see this curve would repeat right here and it would tile very very nicely. So um, you're going to get some uh, images to tile, right? Okay, so find images and, that you want for your walls and for your doors and for your benches and all that stuff. Um, you can do a search like this, so you can you can come. Let's see if I can grab this. So you can do a search for um, free tileable images or something like that, and you can start finding images that are tileable, tileable like this. So you can you pop, you can look at this website too and see if you can find some. You might have to pay for them. But anyway, grab the images you want and save them uh, in a folder. Okay, uh, save them in a folder called Scratch or Raw Images. Uh, so, but we won't use those until we format and resize them. Okay, so hit pause, get your images, and then we can continue. Okay, uh, graphics chips like to work with textures and powers of 2, so 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, so on and so forth for the size. Makes it work faster. Um, faster is good. So we're going to use, for us, the magic number is 256. That's the size we're going to use. Okay, so write this down and then keep going. Okay, so open your image into paint.net. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into, if I can find it, here it is. So we're going to go into paint.net. Okay, so and I'm going to uh, go file and I'm going to open and I'm going to open um, this bubbles thing, right? Okay, so I'm going to open it up. Okay, there it is. So you're going to open your, do the same thing. And then you're going to go image and you're going to say resize. And so there is not the magic number. So we want to change that to 256. And so 256 by 256. And we want the resolution to be 96 pixels per inch. We're going to click OK. So it's going to shrink it down and we're going to save it um, in our that scratch folder. Okay, so we're going to save as, I'm actually just going to do it in downloads for now, but um, I'm going to call it bubbles.png. Okay, and there you have it. Okay, and so I also did that with the leaf one too. Okay, so save that, do that with all of your files. Now drag, drag the files from their Unity folder into the project view into Unity. So what I'm saying is go into Unity. You can't see it, it's over here. So we're going to go to Unity, we're going to go into the downloads folder. 
okay and so you're gonna go into the materials okay if you don't have uh, this folder make a materials folder okay and then you're gonna drag the bubbles into the well, not bubbles, whatever you want into there and then I'm gonna drag the leaf into there as well okay okay so now you have these materials available make sure they have nice good names okay 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 show these textures to, oh by the way so you're gonna get points for doing these textures that 25 by 25 uh, pardon me, 256 by 256 by 96 pixels per inch. So show me all your textures, and you're going to get points for that assignment. It's a, you can find it in Canvas. You can click here and find it. Okay, now here's how you apply images. There's two ways to do it. So we're going to go to up here. We're going to go uh, Assets. We're going to go Create, and we're going to go Material. Because the the the... Oh, I don't need to put these in material. Darn it. These are going to textures. This goes... That's a texture. Bubbles goes down into textures. No? Oh, yeah. The, there they are. Okay, so... What do I send to materials? I'm going to delete that. Delete that. Let's see if they're still here. Yeah, there they are. Okay, so we're going to make our new... So we're going to go assets. We're going to go create. We're going to make a new material. Okay, and we're going to call that material bubbles. Okay, so there's bubbles. And then I'm going to drag bubbles onto it. So you can get, you drag it into the albedo. Okay, so there it is. And then w whatever you want to do, you can make it more metallic or less metallic. Okay, you can, so you can see it just going over there. Whatever you want to smooth it or whatever. Okay, so there's your, so there you have it. Um, and this should be in this should be in materials there's your material okay so if we go into materials there it is we'll do the same thing with uh, other one. Oh, there's another way to do it by the way so we'll do it this way so look now you take your you're in your material materials you have your bubbles you drag it onto whatever you want right we'll go into the bubbles and we need to tile it so let's say let's make it eight by one and that looks pretty good okay so that there's one way to do it the other way to do it is to drag the material into the object directly so another way to do it is just go into your textures you can take this you can drag it here and it makes it's going to make a material called leaf and then you can go in and rename it if you need to you could change the properties you could change the tiling to whatever it needs to be whatever makes it look good okay um, and that's the way to do it okay so go ahead and that's it we're gonna go on to the next one after that